what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's solve this math question that says find the value of m for which 9 to the 4 to the m is equal to 4 to the 9 to the m well our first step will be for us to take the log of both sides so i'll take the log of 9 to the fourth to the m this is equal to i also take the log of the right so the log of 4 to the 9 to the m very good now our next step will be for us to apply the property of logarithm that says when i have the log of a to the p this is the same as p log a I'm going to be applying this to what we have on the left and on the right. So on the left hand side, our exponent is 4 to the m. So this will be 4 to the m log 9. Very good. Just like this. Equal to, we do the same thing here. The exponent here is 9 to the m. So I'm going to write that 9 to the m. Now multiplied by log 4 so times log 4 very good now our next step will be for us to divide both sides by log 9 so i'll divide the left hand side by log 9 i'll also divide the right hand side by log 9 so log 9 cancels out log 9 from the left leaving behind 4 to the m equal to on the right hand side we have 9 to the m log 4 all over log 9 very good now our next step will be for us to move this 9 to the m to the left hand side and in order to do that i'm going to be multiplying both sides by 1 all over 9 to the m so on the left i have 4 to the m I'm going to multiply that by 1 over 9 to the m. This is equal to, on the right hand side, I have 9 to the m times log 4 all over log 9. Remember, in order to get rid of this, I'll multiply both sides by 1 over 9 to the m. So multiply the right by 1 over 9 to the m. Very good. Now notice that 9 to the m cancels out 9 to the m so that we have 4 to the m times 1 is 4 to the m all over the denominator 9 to the m this is equal to log 4 times 1 is log 4 all over the denominator log 9 very good now our next step be for us to apply the law of indices that says when i have a to the n all over b to the n this is same as a over b all raised to the common exponent n so we're going to be applying this to what we have on the left hand side so we have 4 over 9 all raised to the common exponent n this is equal to the right hand side we have log 4 all over log 9 very good now simplifying further we have 4 4 is a perfect squared that means it can be expressed as 2 squared all over 9 9 is also a perfect squared which means it can be expressed as 3 squared and all these I raise to the m this is equal to we have log 4 on the right hand side but 4 is a perfect squared which means it can be expressed as 2 squared all over log 9 so we have log 9 is a perfect squared which means it can be expressed as 3 squared very good now our next step will be for us to apply the property of logarithm on the right hand side 
and apply the law of indices on the left hand side. Well, we're going to be applying this law of indices on the left hand side. So we have 2 over 3, so 2 over 3, all raised to the common exponent 2, and this is also raised to the m. Very good. This is equal to now the property of logarithm. We have applied this before. We take the exponent 2 multiplied by log 2, so times log 2. All over the denominator, we take the exponent 2 multiplied by log 3, so times log 3. Very good. Now notice that 2 can cancel out 2. Now our next step will be for us to apply the law of indices that says when I have a to the m and this is raised to the n, the law of indices says these powers multiply. So we have a to the m times n, which results to a to the n n. Very good. Now we're going to be multiplying these exponents just like this. So we have 2 over 3 raised to the 2 times m is 2n. Very good. And this is equal to the right hand side we have log 2 all over log 3. Very good. Now our next step will be for us to take the log of both sides. So I'll take the log of 2 over 3 raised to the 2m. This is equal to, I'll also take the log of log 2 all over log 3. Very good. Now, applying the property of logarithm on the left hand side, the exponent is 2m multiplied by log 2 over 3. So, multiplied by log 2 over 3. Very good. And this is equal to the right hand side, we have the log of log 2 all over log 3. Very good. Now, our next step will be for us to divide both sides by log 2 over 3. So, I'll divide the left by log 2 over 3. I'll also divide the right by log 2 over 3. Now, notice that log 2 over 3 cancels out from the left, leaving behind 2m to be equal to. On the right-hand side, we have log of log 2 all over log 3 all over the denominator we have log 2 over 3. Very good. Now our next step will be for us to apply the law of logarithm that says when I have the log of A all over the log of B, this is same as log A Base B. Well, this is actually the property of change of base. So now let's apply this on the right hand side. So we have 2m to be equal to the log of. Now comparing this to this, this expression can be written as log 2 base 3. Very good. All of our log 2 all over 3. And now simplifying further, we have 2m to be equal to, now watch something, I'm going to be applying this once again to what we have here. So this expression, just like this, can be written as the log of the number is log 2 base 3 then this becomes the base, which is 2 over 3. Very good. And now, since we're looking for the value of m, I'm going to be dividing both sides by 2. So I'll divide the left-hand side by 2. I'll also divide the right-hand side by 2. Now, notice that 2 cancels out 2, leaving behind m to be equal to the log of log 
2 base 3 base 2 over 3 all over 2 and this becomes our final solution well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like i always say until next time take care